Here's your phone. Talk about that. Oh, wait. Oh, yep. <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. We're live right now. Oh, we're live. Oh, we're yeah. live. <laughs> yeah. Julia, Julia Fast Fingers over there. <laughs> Fast Fingers Delaney. What's up, everyone? How we doing? Uh, good evening. I'm coming at you live for a little Use 2's update for January 23rd. Coming live on January 22nd. That's right. It's a little confusing. Yeah. It's, it's also like we're talking about our used new arrivals. Yeah, yeah, that's always get tripped right over there. Mm -hmm. um, but let's start it off different. Let's talk about some new arrivals. hey -oh. Also coming out tomorrow. Make you wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Hello, Kelly Clark. Oh, hey, Kelly Clark. How's that, how's that calendar? I hope she has the Prince 1984. Oh, no, I think that might have been a program or something. I don't know. It's a long day. Yep. <laughs> Start your year off right. That's right. Year off right. Your year. Got another batch of the Rhino reissues coming out tomorrow on Tuesday, uh, including Alice Cooper's Easy Action. And this is on a gold vinyl. Bad Fingers Wish You Were Here, not to be confused with Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. Don't do it. Don't do it. This is on green. And a <sighs> smorgasbord of musicians here the new york rock and soul review is um, review with a ue mm -hmm. so it's classy classier uh we got michael mcdonald on here <laughs> donald fagan no donald fagan. I, got, I don't have an impression <laughs> uh boss skaggs phoebe snow charles brown and eddie and david brigatti Really, I should have probably should have started with them. Well, like you know, I started hot with the Michael McDonald. They man. put them last, so yep. you put them last. Think, yeah, right. Um, yeah, Rhino coming out with some another nice batch of reissues. And when you pick up the Rhino titles to start your year off right, you can get this free start your year off right calendar, chock full of goings on around the Rhino catalog. Lots of little fun snippets and facts. And a great centerfold. <laughs> What's the centerfold? <laughs> was that the, uh, the Oh, yeah, is. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> there God it. save it, gotta look buy out. it. Look out, look out. Hey, Withrows. What's up, Withrows? Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Our friend Bob from Wood Nickel Music. Oh, what's up, Bob? Fort Wayne, Indiana. Wow, right on. Well, All right. Greetings from New York. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so, uh... As you might see here, we're starting off this week with Papa John Creech playing the fiddle for you. Mm -hmm. This is Papa John's third solo record after being a traveling musician and his last on Grunt. Oh. So we don't see this one very often. You know what to do. Yeah, it's ripping. Yep. Mm. We've been playing it. This is the second time today. Yeah, second, second so full play. <laughs> save us from ourselves. I'm going to hit y'all with a little... Uh... A little R&B comp for you Ooh. on the Soul Jazz Records. This is Soul of a Nation. A um, whole lot of good artists on here. You got Gil Scott, got Roy Ayers, Ubiquity. I hate that. I can't say that word. Ubiquity? Ubiquity. <laughs> <laughs> Who broke them? <laughs> We're only like three yeah. minutes in. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, yeah, but Soul, uh, Soul Jazz Records, always always putting out some, some cool stuff. A lot of cool comps. Yeah. Um, we got a whole section of them if you want to browse. That's right. Yeah, we do stock the Soul Jazz comps. Line. And uh, yeah, just, just another uh, cool comp. We got a lot of uh, songs that have been sampled, in, uh, hip hop and rap. So I think you got a little, some, some roots for you. See the roots. Uh, Cynthia Wayne says, you guys are great. Thank you, so, Cynthia. Thank you, Cynthia. Hey. And Kelly, you did not miss the last podcast. It hasn't happened yet. Mm -hmm. uh, that brings me to my next pick of the week. That is an oddity. Nielsen, that's Harry Nielsen, The Point. So uh, this was a soundtrack to the cartoon that came out, which I should have grabbed it, but we also happen to have in stock on DVD. And uh, I remember this from childhood, although I think it came out earlier than my childhood, but just a weird thing. You know, there's pointy heads and then he's got a round head and it's a crazy adventure so if you like to smoke weed and listen to weird shit there you go and Harry Nelson has a beautiful voice so you can't go wrong mm. next pick got a Feldman pick for you Look oh out. 
Feldy man. Feldy I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Kiss Alive 2. What's so special about this one? It's JB's favorite. But it's also a German pressing. So pretty cool. Um, you don't get too much clean kiss, let alone clean German kiss. A lot of dirty kiss. A lot of, di a lot of dirty kiss. Um, and it comes with the original booklet here, the evolution of kiss. So I'm just gonna put that in Steve's holes. <laughs> All right. Um, my next thing is boink, <laughs> and I'm boinking you with the replacements. Oh, a replacement boink. A replacement boink. It happens to the best of us. So this is a UK press from '86. Uh, it was kind of a, a compilation of previously released singles that was only released in the UK. So only, only pressing too. Yeah, only pressing. Nice clean copy. A little bit of a top split there. Nothing to write home about. And uh, that cool purple. I don't know why I switched hands. I'm left-handed, so this is really <laughs> awkward all of a sudden. But there we go. Don't you laugh, Drew. Sorry. And track two is my defining song. Oh yeah. <laughs> You gotta come read track two for yourself. There you go, look that one up. Um, next up, a little promo action for you. Oh! From the Husker Do. Kind of a perfect compliment to yeah. the replacements. Husker Do, you or don't you want this? I'm trying, JB, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we got a uh, little Husker He's Do. He's watching. <laughs> Sorry Somehow promo. Uh, it's really cool. It's got a whole bunch of um, reviews from various music critics on top here. It's got Richard Grables saying, Husker Du, and all of their matter-of-fact intensity are incredible. They are, right now, the kings of rock. You go down to the bottom, you got Bob Mould. I'm laughing. I guess we are the kings of rock. If Richard Grable says so, he's the king of critics. So, I thought that had a little, little, little funnies. Fun, uh, unrelated sort of, but fun Bob Mould fact. Mm -hmm. He's the composer of the Daily Show theme. I didn't know that. Dropping the knowledge. Oh, yeah, Dropping the knowledge. That's cool. Moving hey, Feldiman. Hey. All right. Uh, next up for me, the first album from garage rock revivalist The Fuzz Tones. Uh, let's see. This came out in '85. Nice and clean. He got you a gatefold cover here. It's called Lysergic Emanations. Nothing to really see on the label there. Yeah. But nice clean copy. We never see the fuzz tones, especially a cool original press like this. And the garage rock tends to go pretty quick because yeah. it's just, you know, few and far between. Is what it is. Mm -hmm. So make it yours. Moving right along, I got a little punk pack for you. Punk pack? Punk pack. A PP. A PP, if you will. We've got Pick Rum and Sodomy and The Lash oh, by The Pogues. It's cool. Um, hands down the ugliest singer I've, I've ever <laughs> viewed. Mr. Shane McGowan. <laughs> Shane McGowan. Go ahead, Google him. Um, produced by Elvis Costello. I forget where this falls in their discography. Second or third. Second or third, yeah. Super clean. First U.S. pressing on MCA, but you got your little stiff imprint right there. Mm. Getting stiff on them. And also, another cool one. A first pressing of The Dead Milkman. Eat your paisley. Little first press here on Restless Records. That nice red right there for you. Uh, I have a an on the spot dark side by side. Oh, uh, turn it around. It's this guy right here, and uh, viewer Mr. Brian Acard as a young man. That's what I'm gonna say. Ah, oh, all right. It's a young Brian Acard who was apparently in the Dead Milk Men. Thanks for holding out on us, Brian. Yeah, right. Couldn't have told us sooner. So yeah, a couple uh, punk selections for you. You punks. Yep, you yep, punks. All right. Well, I'm gonna take it sadder. And I'm gonna go with your your goth pop, and that is this mortal coil. 
this is their second album from 86. If you're sad, if you're a goth, if you just remember those times when this album first came out, uh, this is a UK press. It's in great shape, and we don't see this Mortal Coil records very often, especially a UK press. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Sorry to make fun of goths. I tried in middle school. It didn't work out for me either. My up? Yeah. I mean, I got some. Uh, my my next couple picks are for all them jazz cats out there. Yo, oh, he's watching. He said he's been found. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but before we hit the picks for the jazz cats, I got a pick for the jazz dogs out there. The jazz dogs, A.K.A. the Withrows. That hey. is this week's with pick. I wish we had some graphics. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, pro post production. We're going with David Grisman's Dog Jazz. Uh, this is from '83 little solo record got your uh, another dog shot in the back there that doggo yeah and doggos looking at you becca <laughs> and yeah cool yeah pretty cool pretty pretty cool um to start oh. my jazz selections pogues is gone the pogues is gone pogues is gone pogue mr brian acard has poked the pogues ah poke the pogue if you will my first batch of jazz comes from the Stan Getz and Gilberto. Got a Getz. But these. It's, uh, <laughs> it's cool though because it's two different Gilbertos. And the with pick, Gonzo. First up, the classic Getz Gilberto featuring Antonio Carlos Jobin. Jobin? That's Yao Gilberto. Not, not to be confused with. J-Wow. <laughs> Astrid Gilberto. And... Uh, Stan Getz. So you got two Gilbertos, both coming at you from the Verve classic jazz line uh, that they released in Japan. So these are Japanese pressings. No obis, no oboes. Too hard to ship. <laughs> but they are super clean. And that's not all the jazz I got, but I'm going to hold out for a sec. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to take you to very much the 80s right now mm. with the Ozzy Osbourne live Mr. Crowley picture disc Mr. Crowley <laughs> <clears throat> you know our singing might cause a suicide solution boom which is track three on this record so nice. this is a picture disc um, you know it is an 80s picture disc so take it for what you will there but it's cool it's a, it's a it's a conversation piece. Mm -hmm. Need some water cooler talk? There you go. Let's bring this in. <laughs> bring it to the cooler. As we get to the bottom of our our stacks, might as well hit them with the shtick. Get them. Get them with that shtick. Shtick them. If Alex. you see anything you like, follow suit. Follow the A cards and the with picks of the worlds, and let us know. Call dibs. If you want it, grab it before it's gone. You already know it's cut throat out here. It's a dog eat dog world. In the in the in the, the browsing, yeah. This <laughs> just call dibs. How they call dibs? They comment below. They call us eight four five four five two eight zero one zero. You could um, message us on Facebook. You could show up tomorrow at ten o'clock when we open. You can tweet us yeah, at Darkside Records with a Z. You can send us an Instagram message. Yeah. But, oh, you can also reply to the email. Boom. And the email you can get by signing up for it on our website, darksiderecords.com. And also, when the email gets sent out, if you have the app, you will be alerted. That's right. We have a mobile app. Uh, it's just called Dark Side Records, unsurprisingly. And you know what you can do on there now? We've got a little couple tweaks, but you can view the entire use list right on your phone. So when you get that notification, because you definitely allowed notifications, and if you didn't, you can change them in your settings. Boom. You can click that notification, it'll take you right to the use list, and then you can click right over and Facebook message us, call us, get in your car and hit the GPS button, drive your ass here, 
score ness. Score them scores. That's right. Yeah. And talking of a score, mm. my next pick nice is segue. The Smiths, Hat Full of Hollow, UK pressing of a nice little Smiths comp. Mm -hmm. Gatefold, original pressing of a comp. Yep. And uh, yeah, the Smiths go fast. They so. Do. Hey, Byron. Byron. Thank you, buddy. What's up, Byron? Yeah, mm. that's the Smiths. It's the Smiths. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it in the UK for a second. And keep it with the blue. Yeah, blue blue K with the little Jimmy Macedra pick of the week. Oh. That is the single of U2 Pride from Unforgettable Fire. But as you might see here, it's got a previously unreleased version of 11 o'clock TikTok. Also, nice little feature of Mr. Martin Luther King Jr. on the back here. Just celebrated that holiday. Yep. So, there you go. Mm -hmm. Nice little UK batch. Nice little UK batch indeed. I'm gonna go back to the jazz. Hit, hit you with some more jazz. Hit him. How about a little coal train? Oof. It's a hard train when you gotta hit, hit with this. But it's... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's Alice coal train. You know John. It's Alice. Oh, uh, Lord of Lords right here. First pressing on your ABC impulse. Oh, wow. A little gatefold action there for you. You two gone. Sorry, not to interrupt, but... Oh, very nice. Um, yeah, so just, just some Alice coal train for you. It's cool. I really, got, I really got nothing else. The Alice coal train... Those always go quick, too. Boom. Uh, heading back over to America, we've got Mr. Jonathan Winters, Winter of 88. As you might be able to discern from that, this album was released in 1988. Huh. Presumably the winner. I don't know. I didn't look that up. But, uh, yeah. There you go. A little shirtless. Is it a scarred nipple on the front? That might be some sort of a scarred nipple on the front there. Uh, you know, Johnny, great guitar player. I would say friend of the store, but that'd be a bit presumptuous. <laughs> we met him a couple times. We were fortunate enough to be able to take a picture of him about a year before he died. Nice dude. Great legend. So Scarred nipples. And this <laughs> Scarred nipples. And this one, I've never seen before. So no, no. This could be a cool piece if your name is Vinnie Gizzy. Uh, I like so, that. yeah. I'm gonna take it on home now. I'm the last jazz batches. Oh, Paul, your boy Paul says that you are hiding your stuff too good this week. <laughs> you ain't seeing more of our. Oh, I feel like I, I gotta I hide won't, mine. I won't tease. I won't tease. Um, yeah, so I got some blue note coming at you this week. A couple uh, reissues here. Um, Search for the New Land by Lee Morgan. This is a first reissue. Very tricky reissue at that. Mm. Cause Tell them why, Gert. You got your blue no label here. You got your deep groove. But you don't got your Van Gelder stamp. The correct one at that. No RVG, but you do got a Van Gelder stamp in the dead wax. The label is the blue note New York labels, which would indicate possibly a first pressing. But no, 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 no. This is a second after Liberty brought it out. But before they switched to the Liberty Address. Right. So you got a Liberty Pressing with Blue Note New York City labels. Still sounds fucking great. Nice and clean. Super clean. A very nice piece. Um, Looking at you, Bill Davies. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get that back in. All right. <laughs> also, um, another reissue coming from Dexter Gordon, the One Flight Up. LP, also a first reissue, same dealio, you got your Blue Note New York City labels, but it's a Liberty first, you know, first run. First Liberty, second Blue Note, is that what we should say? Yeah, we can go like it's that. It's like same era, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, like a year or two difference. Yeah. Um, so yeah, One Flight Up, Dexter Gordon, you got your Donald Byrd on trumpet, um, another fantastic jazz LP. And I actually got a Blue Note first press for it. A firsty. A firsty. Worn with love. Place pretty damn good. Save for a ticker, a ticker two here. A couple little ticks, yeah. but Gert gave it a clean. Mm -hmm. Plays nice. Plays better than it looks, we'll say that. Mm -hmm. 
Got the legendary Art Blakey and his jazz messengers. Got Good. Lee Morgan on trumpet. Wayne Shorter. Got Bobby Thomas uh, Timmons on piano. Jimmy Merritt on bass. And of course, Blakey holding down the percussions. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, just, just jamming. Jamming. We got it. it's jazz heavy this week. It really is. Got a lot of good jazz some pieces. Nice, some nice hits. You got some some Herbie Hancock for you. No Miles this week. I thought I saw Miles. Oh, maybe. I think there is a Miles. Okay. All right. Well, so yeah. we're covering most of the bases. Yep. But I'm gonna take it out of jazz land and back to the '80s. I just realized right now that my list is my pile is very '80s centric this yeah. week, and I don't have any fucking problems with that. Not at all. Because right now we got. Violent Femmes, Violent Femmes. Uh, one of the greatest records. I don't know, that's a bold statement, but it's a great fucking record. Yes. Um, Blister in the Sun, so many things. Gone Daddy Gone, just a great album. So this is an 84 press. This was like the second run, still the same year, but the mm -hmm. second run. And uh, this one, it cranks. I'm gonna play it as soon as this video is over. It'll be gone. Yeah, it will. All right, and that takes me to the last one this <laughs> week. I've been waiting a couple of days for this God one. God damn, this has never <laughs> happened before. This is the Justin pick of the week because it is Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds on vinyl, original UK press, and you're goddamn right it's on this video because I already own it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is Nick Cave's third record. Kicking Against the Pricks, of course, a bit of a little biblical verse there, and uh, it's a covers record, so from start to finish, they're all covers, and he said something to the effect of, we just started doing it because some songs we thought we would try, and some thongs, songs we thought were never good to begin with, so they gave them their own spin. <laughs> so, like yeah. Uh, yeah, so Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds, original UK press, this never happens. Uh, as you may or may not know, one of my favorite artists of all time. Really stoked to see this come in the door. And you got Mr. Blix of Bargeld there, because he was still there. A lot of third albums this week as yeah, well. Yeah, for real. So, this is the third one from them. And uh, I damn well expect somebody to come get this tomorrow. So, please do. Yeah. Uh, some of the covers on the Nick Cave are... Hey, hey Joe. Yep, All Tomorrow's Parties. By the time we get to Phoenix, uh, Jesus Met the Woman at the Well, which is a traditional that they actually got some gospel singers to back them up on. Uh, they do Gonna Kill That Woman from Howlin' Wolf. Check it out. Yeah. I love this record. It's got that very much 80s Nick Cave production sounds. Very sort of big and mm -hmm. echoey in a way. And uh, come in, let's talk Nick Cave. That never happens, so I would love that to happen. <laughs> He's all giddy. I am. Oh! There it goes, Mr. Brian Acard. Acard. On his A game today. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note. Yep. So if you see anything and you're not watching this live, still leave a comment. We'll check them out. Check your damn emails in the morning. Julia, what time's the email going out? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. it's going out tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you then. Oh, somebody's going to have to go stop the video. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll keep talking for a minute. Yep. And download our app. Download our app.